Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org, and this is my second video about Earth and Space by Bright Ideas Press, which I'm using this year uh, for homeschooling science for my kids, and it's an elementary level science book, okay? Uh, today I'm going to be talking about tectonic plates and earthquakes, okay? So first, tectonic plates. Now the theory of tectonic plates is that the Earth is covered with plates that move away from each other and um, there's a lot of evidence for this in many ways one of the things uh, that you have evidence for is that Africa fits into South America and up here as well so these are the major plates of the earth and uh, one of the hands-on activities from the book is to um, boil an egg and then you crack it and look at all the the, the um, plates basically around that egg. Now, when we did it, we also um, uh, Easter egg dyed it so that you guys could see it a little bit better. So take a look at that tectonic plate activity. Here we are with a boiled egg, okay? So make sure you boil an egg. And then we are going to put um, hot boiling water, one cup of hot boiling water, and two cups of vinegar. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you what we're doing for plate tectonics, okay? Um, so the first thing I want you to do is crimp, crumple it, okay? So once you smash it, I want you to see it's plate tectonics, okay? Plate tectonics is similar to this. Now, to help you see it better, I'm going to put dye into the um, vinegar and water. And so it's like, we're, um, it's like we're doing an Easter egg, okay? So you can just stir that up, it's nice and dark, okay? And you'll put this into that water and you can leave it in for maybe a minute or two minutes depending on how bright you want it to be. So here is the egg and you can see the different plates on um, that egg and see if you're moving them with your fingers. You can see how they drift apart from each other. Wow, that looks like Africa from here. That's pretty cool. Another one of the printables in this book is the Ring of Fire, and that is um, there are lots of volcanoes right around this area. And not only are there volcanoes there, uh, you, you realize these are the edges of the tectonic plates that we just talked about. And so earthquakes happen there as well. And if you see it right over here is Guatemala, and that's where I grew up. I grew up in a place with lots of earthquakes because I grew up as a missionary kid and um, I remember in 1976 we had an earthquake in Guatemala that smashed and destroyed the entire city. It was a 7.6 on the Richter scale and I remember waking up in the middle of the night because I heard bang 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 and that was my closet door banging and I thought that was my sister pushing against it but my bed was moving too and I thought there's no way she can reach both things at once, like big rubber arms or whatever. And I'm like, what is going on? So I sat up in bed and I heard my little sister uh, yelling, my, my crib is running, my crib is running. Like her bed was running, like her crib was on wheels and it was actually moving across the room. Okay, so my dad grabbed the baby, she was a toddler, at that point, and um, he told us all to go downstairs. And um, it's like before the earthquake, there's a sound like a, and then suddenly the earth starts moving. And um, of course, uh, dishes and things like that can crash if they're not in a cupboard that is closed. Um, even with a cupboard that's closed though, 
um, it'll come out and smash. Um, I'm sure we had a lot of damage done. I was only six years old at the time, but um, our house was made out of bricks. So um, we actually stayed indoors. I don't know whether that was the right thing to do or not, but outside the, uh, the, the uh, electrical, uh, you know, cords and things like that from the telephone poles were down and could have caused electrocution and things like that. The whole city was smashed and demolished. And as we were driving, you couldn't drive hardly because the streets were covered in rubble and, and it looked like doll houses. Like it was weird. Like you could see inside people's houses upstairs while you were driving down the street. I just remember it was just really, really weird. So I've experienced earthquakes and then I moved to California to go to college. And in California, that is on a fault line. It's like, uh, so that is definitely a place for lots of earthquakes. Now, one of the fun activities from um, Earth and Space book is um, to make a little miniature city out of Legos or whatever you have and um, put it on a cookie sheet and then shake it. So let's take a look at uh, what it would look like for an earthquake to happen to a Lego city. Okay, here we have a small Lego city and we are going to do an earthquake. Go! Go, 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 go! <laughs> yes! All right! Here we have done another Lego city. What we did is we put some sand on a cookie sheet. I was just curious to see what this earthquake would look like. Go ahead. Woohoo! Okay, <laughs> so yes, things fall down and are destroyed basically. Okay. <laughs> we later used an atlas to find all the um, earthquakes that were listed in the book Earth and Space, and we noticed that those earthquakes happened, the majority of them happened around this area. So it's just really neat to get some uh, atlas skills in finding uh, where all the different um, earthquakes happened that were very large earthquakes, like seven uh, and up on the Richter scale. So that was a really interesting activity for us. So this is uh, plate tectonics and earthquakes and I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching.